The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 15, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 15th of February, 1975, in Mexico. Yamhina Bhakanti Ipi Purusam Purusar Sabha Samadukha Sukham Dheeram Sa Amrita Taya Kalpa So, we have been discussing for the last four days about the constitutional position of the soul. First thing, we have discussed that the living being, this body is not the living being, but the living being is within the body. Just like the motor car is not the driver. The driver is within the motor car. Now, the driver or the soul within the body is immortal. And it is transmigrating from one body to another. So, this transmigration from one body to another is not very good business. Just like if you are living in some apartment and you have to change immediately for another, immediately for another, do not get disgusted. Naturally, we desire that if I get some permanent apartment, it is very good. Actually, we want that. Nobody wants to die. Even a person or living being in the most wretched condition of life, if you propose that let me kill you, he will not agree. Therefore the psychology is that every living being does not want to die. So, but actually we are not subjected to death or birth, that will be discussed. We have some or other, by chance or by coincidence, we have acquired this material body. Actually it is not by chance, but we wanted to lord it over the material world. Therefore we have got this material body. So everyone in this material world, either human being or animals or birds and beasts, is trying to be the Lord of the universe. Therefore, if we actually want relief from this constant change of transmigration, then we must prepare for that. We have already discussed that we can get our next life as we prepare for it. If I like, I can go to the higher planetary system. If I like, I can go to the lower planetary system. If I like, you can go to the beastly life or godly life, as I desire, I will get. The Lord is situated in my heart, in, in your heart, and He is working He's staying, he hasn't got to work, he's staying to see my activities. And he also understands what is my desire. Accordingly, he offers a machine. This is a machine. It is said, Jantra Rurhani Maya. Jantra means machine. So, just like in our car, we can travel here and there. Similarly, on this machine of body, we can go anywhere. So, as human being, we should know that why I am wandering in so many places, in so many species of life, and in so many planets. Why? Can it not be stopped for a permanent life? This is the consideration. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Eirupe Brahmanda Bhamite Kono Bhagavan Ji Guru Krishna Kripai Pai Bhakti Lata Bhi. The living entity in this way, wandering in different species of life, 
in different planetary platform. Therefore, this is very disgusting. See, if one is fortunate, then he comes in contact with a devotee. This Krishna consciousness movement is meant for giving this opportunity to everyone. We are opening centers all over the world, inviting people to come in our place, understand the philosophy. We have got so many books, and try to save yourself from this botheration of repetition of birth and death. In order to execute this business, apparently there is little difficulty. Just like we prescribe to our members no intoxication. No intoxication, one who is habituated to drink, to smoke, to drink coffee, tea, etc., he feels some discomfort. Similarly, we say no meat eating. So those who are meat eaters, they will find little difficulty to give up this habit. Similarly, we say no illicit sex. But one who is habituated for this illicit sex life, he feels some difficulty. So there are so many things. In the beginning, it appears to be little difficult. Actually, it is not difficult, but because we are habituated, we feel difficult. So, if you are actually anxious and serious to stop this repetition of birth and death, then we must take to Krishna consciousness. Because without Krishna consciousness, nobody can stop the repetition of birth and death. Therefore Krishna advises in this verse that accept this little difficulty. Actually there is no difficulty, but because you have practiced, in the beginning we find little difficulty. Therefore here Krishna says, Janghina bhatayanti ete, all these so-called difficulties, if they do not bother, give some pain to a person. Just like I am feeling difficult, I am habituated to smoke, now I am forbidden not to smoke. So I am feeling difficulty. So therefore Krishna says, so although it is not difficulty, but although one feels difficulty, still he sticks to the principle, then he becomes fit for going back to home, back to God. So, Indriyani Pramathani, in the Bhagavad Gita I find, our senses are very strong, like mad snakes. There is some statement in Vedic literature, Indriya Kala Sattva Patali, Indriya, the senses are just like dreadful snakes. But there is a means to subdue this snake. It is said, Indriya Kala Sattva Patali Pratkhata Dhamastrāyate means the snake may be very dangerous, but somehow or other, if you take out its poison tree, it is no more dangerous. The snake is dangerous on account of the poison tree. So if somehow or other the poison tree is extricated, then the snake is no more dangerous. So our strong senses, snake-like senses, can be bereft of the poison teeth by accepting Krishna consciousness. So the simple method offered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is this chanting Hare Krishna mantra. He says personally, Cheta Darpana Marjanam Bhava Mahadavarni Nidvapanam means by chanting Hare Krishna mantra, your heart will be cleaned. And as soon as your heart is cleaned, you can feel everything in its proper order. So when the heart is cleaned, we can understand our real position and how we are suffering and how to take steps against this suffering. This is called bhavu maha dhava nimit extinguishing the blazing fire of material existence. In this verse, it is mentioned again, dhiram. Dhiram means very sober. In the beginning, Krishna said, 
धीर सत नमुयति धीर मीन्स वन हु इज सोबर ही इज नॉट बिल्ड धीर मीन्स दैट ऑल दो देर इज कॉज ऑफ डिस्टर्बेंस वन इज नॉट डिस्टर्ब ऑल दो देर इज सिगरेट बट आई शुड प्रॉमिस आई शैल नॉट स्मोक ऑल दो देर इज फैसिलिटी फॉर इलिसिट सेट आई विल नॉट डू इट That is called bhiro. Bhiro means the cause of agitation or disturbance is present there, but one is not disturbed. So, in order to advance in spiritual life, we have to become bhiro. That is said here. Samal dukha sukham bhiro. As soon as one becomes bhiro, sober, these so-called material pains and pleasure does not. disturb him then he is fit for becoming immortal everyone is immortal but he is fallen in such material condition that he thinks himself as mortal because i am spirit soul that was the bathing injection is it feel aham brahmasmi so hum means i am as good as the supreme being means he is eternal i am also eternal he is also living being i am also living being that means qualitatively we are one god and we but quantitatively he is great we are small so we have to realize this that we can become eternal immortal all qualified like god uh, if we get out of this material clutches and for this we have to become dhiro dhiro means i am already explained not to be disturbed even the cause of disturbance is there so that is the qualification of becoming immortal so little tolerance of the sensation just like there is some sensation if you have got some itches you are feeling that i should eat that if you stop eating this will be cured and if you go on eating it will increase anyone who has got some experience of eating uh, eating is very pleasing at the time of eating but at next time it is uh, not very pleasing it has created so many disturbing conditions therefore shastra says that we should try to control the eating of our senses then he is zero And as soon as you become zero, you are the first class candidate for going back to home method. So there is method, there is practice, there is process. If you like, you can adopt them. Actually, there is no difficulty, and solve all the problems of your life. This is Krishna consciousness movement. Try to understand and adopt it. Lord over whenever happens to do something which actually cannot be done and if we are originally full of pleasure then why do we accept and experience things that i have already explained that although you have got the god's quality but you are very small just like a big fire and the sparks of the fire similarly god is big fire and we are like sparks of the fire when this path come down from the fire it becomes extinguished so because we are very small i have already given you the dimension eh? as soon as we become out of the big fire in touch with god then we become extinguished some or other if you are again go to the fire you have your original illuminating quality this path So at the present moment, somehow or other, being fallen in this material condition, we have lost our godly quality. We can cure that, just like a diseased man lost his appetite, but by treatment he can again awaken his appetite and eat properly. So we being very small, uh, we may say a small god, therefore. we fall under the clutches of some maya illusion but it can be cured we can again revive our original position this is the second part of the 
No, the soul is part of the Lord. Lord is the super soul. So therefore, yoga practice means the soul wants to find out the super soul. Dhyana vasthita vigatina munasa pasanti yam yogina. The yogi, those are real yogis, not bogus yogis. Real yogi, they want to meditate upon the super soul. The super soul and the soul, they are sitting on the same tree, the body. The super soul is simply witnessing the activities of the soul and giving sanction for all his mischievous activities. But the soul is suffering the sequence or the result of his activities. The super soul is simply witness. That is stated in the Bhagavad Anumanta Upodrashta. Anumanta means without God sanction, without super soul sanction, you cannot do anything. But because he persists, the soul persists to do something, super soul says, all right, you do at your own risk. Just like a thief is going to steal, the super soul is ordering, don't do it. Because without God sanction, he cannot steal. But when this thief persists, then he says, all right, you do at your risk. This is the position of the super soul and the soul. So he with his mind or he always Yes, he creates. He is thinking in his own way. Therefore he is creating a situation which will be botheration for him. So we are so small, why is there poison of the senses? Poison? Of the senses. Yes. Sense because we have come to the poisonous condition, the senses have become poisonous. Just like if you go to an area where there is infectious disease, you contaminate and suffer from the disease. So it is your duty not to go such a place where there is contaminant. It is up to you. You create your own situation, suffering or enjoying. If we have not already seen the procession, then how can the soul see the procession and see that you have to be quite so many times to see the there is no argument. If you are diseased, you can be cured. If you take the proper medicine and treatment, that's all. Disease is not hopelessly. Uh, otherwise, why the people go for treatment to a physician? Similarly, out of ignorance you are now in, the, in this miserable condition. But if you become treated by a bona fide spiritual master, then you will be cured. Originally, Every one of us pure. Now, by material condition, we are now contaminated. That, but there is process to get out of this material contamination, then again we become pure. And as soon as we become pure, there is no more birth, death, old age, and disease. Finished. Just become Krishna conscious, and Maya will not touch you. Just like you take injection, vaccine, and the infection will not touch you. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Devid Desha Gunamai, Mamu Maya Duratya, Mami Vuja Prabhupadante, Maya Mi Tang Saranti Te. Any other question? Yes. Question? Symptoms? Is chanting Hare, Hare Krishna? Unless one is Krishna concert, why he will take the trouble twenty-four hours, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. This is the symptom. The symptom is further explained that as soon as you see one man and you remember Krishna, that means he is Krishna conscious. So our men, wherever they go, people say, Hare Krishna, by seeing him only. Therefore the man is Krishna conscious. This is the proof. That is the statement of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He, by seeing one person, you remember Krishna, that person is Krishna Why is it that when he still comes to contact with the middle age, he becomes contaminated? He, he wants to enjoy his material enjoyment. Just like uh, everyone is uh, going to the restaurant for eating something palatable. But we are not going. Somebody is going to cinema, 
but you are not going to the cinema. Similarly, there are two kinds of men. One is attracted, one is not attracted. Those who are not attracted, they are called nitta siddha, eternally liberated. And those who are being attracted, they are called nitta vaddha, eternally conditioned. So you will find always two classes of men. So one is attracted, one is not attracted. One who does not want to serve Krishna and wants to serve his senses, he is put into this material world. And he is given all facilities to enjoy, but he becomes entangled. This is the position. Yes? How is uh, the devotion preserved? How is the devotion preserved? Very good. If you are serious, you come to us, I shall teach you. If you want to be learned man, you must go to school. You cannot learn at home. Anything more? How can you feel the sense of How can you feel you are dreaming in a different land? In the at night when you dream, you forget your this, all, everything. Your father, mother, your home, as well. You are in a different place. Again, in daytime, you forget your dreaming land, you come to another place. This is transmigration. You create somebody and you see differently, this is transmigration. We are every day, every night, we are experiencing transmigration. But we have no intelligence to understand. Therefore, Tadvigyanatham Sagur Maiva Vidat says, you have to go to a bona fide guru and he will make you understand. Hmm? How can you see Samadhi? Samadhi? And just like if you fully absorbed in some thought, that is called Samadhi. That is Samadhi. If you become absorbed in thought of Krishna, that is Samadhi. That's all right.